as a podiatrist here at Orthopedic Associates, part of the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics. I provide diabetic foot care. Diabetic foot care is more than just trimming nails and calluses. Uh, which is what most people think of it is. Um, I think of myself as the uh, primary person trying to keep you out of the hospital and keep you safe and comfortable for the rest of your life. Complications associated with diabetic feet can be the leading cause of hospitalization for diabetics. Uh, people with diabetes are more prone to amputations. In fact, in this country, every 30 seconds, uh, there's an amputation related to diabetic uh, foot issues. People with diabetes uh, develop um, one of several complications. Uh, the one that most people know about is the neuropathy. Uh, neuropathy is a loss of sensation in your feet, it could also happen in your hands, uh, but we're most co uh, concerned about the foot. The sensation loss could be so profound that you may not even be able to feel your feet hitting against the ground. There's another form of neuropathy called painful neuropathy. When people lose their sensation in their feet, they're talking, we're talking about painless neuropathy or insensate neuropathy. But people can develop diabetic peripheral neuropathy that is painful and that's somewhat of a blessing because you still have some of the sensation in the foot, uh, but the pain associate, associated with it can be severe. One of the other problems associated with diabetes is poor circulation or peripheral arterial disease. Uh, we sometimes referred to it as peripheral vascular disease. People with diabetes are at a higher risk of developing poor circulation. And that's from a variety of reasons, but generally because of plaque that builds up in the lining of the arteries and impedes the flow of blood into the foot. And we're concerned about this because if you have poor blood flow um, and you get a sore on your foot, it's less likely that that sore will heal. So we want to prevent these things from happening and it is entirely possible. Uh, most people who have diabetes don't need to go on and lose a limb or, or, um, or a foot or part of a foot. Uh, these are things that we can prevent.